this is something else. I don't know if it's intact. There's a couple pieces to work around. Oh, so far, so good. All right. This is one of the coolest pieces I've ever dug. It's intact. I'm in Yankton, South Dakota, standing in the backyard of where an old house once stood. There's now an apartment complex here, although I got permission to excavate the backyard in search of artifacts left over from the old house. We're going to take a walk around and see what we can find. Here's the backyard. You'll see there's a newer building standing here now, although there was an old house way back when. I'm going to grid this lot out and push some probe rods to the ground and hopefully find a spot to dig. I think we've got something here. You can see I kicked some marks in the ground showing the areas I felt a difference in compaction. So we're going to uh, take the topsoil off and see what's buried down here. about four feet we're getting into some kind of layer we found a major cable line must go into the apartments and uh just below it we've got several artifacts here looks like they're well over 100 years old uh, this looks up like some kind of mason jar it's a beautiful aqua color Okay, the bottom's broken out. Mason. Huh. That's kind of cool, a generic piece. I've never seen one with that embossing pattern before. Looks like uh, maybe a medicine bottle of some sort. Oh, wow. What's going on here? F.J. Kistenmacher, Red Cross Drugstore, Davenport, Iowa. That's really something. I believe this dates back to the, around the turn of the century. Oh, there's all kinds of stuff here. Wow. I've never seen one of these before. NB and Company on the bottom. I'm not sure I've seen that mark. And uh, this has some kind of cap on it. I'm thinking it's some kind of medicine. Maybe uh, some kind of uh, magnesia type bottle. That's wild, I like that color. Oh, no. Is this a green colored bottle? Or maybe a deep aqua. Okay, and yeah, aqua colored. Looks like a Cedar Rapids, Iowa. WF Severa. That's some kind of medicine bottle. Uh, a couple pieces from Iowa now, that's interesting. kinds of unusual bottles in this pit. That's an unusual form. There's no embossing on it, but uh, that's really cool. It's a tooled top. This is a big piece here. Wow. Wow. 
wow. What is this? Dr. Van Dyke. Dr. Van Dyke. That's all that's on this. Looks like this piece dates back to about 1905. Uh, must have been some kind of medicine bottle. And a Samen's vegetable liniment. Relieves all pain. Cures catarrh and colds. So, yeah, this is an old medicine bottle. Circa 1905 as well. And, yeah, it looks like this was a broken hawk wine. Uh, had an old form to it. This could have actually dated before 1900. There's some really nice iridescence on these. This one looks like it could be a prescription drugstore bottle. Let's see. Yeah, it's a two ounce. Everite. This was a lubricant, I believe, some kind of oil. And this one has an unusual shape. Let's see. Wow. Looks like some kind of condiment container. I'm not seeing any writing on this piece though. It has a strange mold. It looks like it's a tooled top. There's another uh, drinking glass of some sort, the stem and foot's broken off of it. Huh. Another uh, prescription drugstore type bottle. Yeah, another Everite, circa 1905. Some kind of tool top ink bottle. Sanford's. And you know what? That's early machine made. That's a uh, circa 1910. Looks like some kind of food product. Some kind of preserved container. That's a uh, early machine made as well. Here's a last stopper. It has a nice pattern on it. Looks like almost some snowflakes of some sort. It's a part of a decanter, I believe. Yeah, it looks like some kind of a prescription drugstore bottle. Uh, Rex Oval. Rex Oval style, circa 1905. I see some embossing. Looks like there's a little extract or medicine though. Uh, what is this? Foley's Honey and Tar. That's a little sample medicine. Circa 1905. Alright. I think it's intact. Weber and Heinz. Druggists. Rochester, Minnesota. That's an oldie. That's a Philadelphia Oval style. We got, I think, three more. Over here, what do we have? Dr. King's New Discovery. He had a lot of popular products. I believe he was Chicago based. little uh, prescription bottle. It's a Sheldon style, circa 1905. Oh, 
There's so much stuff in here, I can barely get my travel through. It's like a pickle preserve bottle, maybe a condiment. Early machine made, no embossing. Wow, that's a big old wine bottle. I believe it's a tooled top. Oh, it's like a little perfume bottle. Oh, what's this say on it? Oleum Bonchid? That's foreign. Uh, definitely some kind of toiletry perfume of some sort. Oh wow, that's an old vase, I believe. It's a, maybe a pressed glass piece. That's really nice. And a little paneled piece. Okay, Foley's Honey and Tar. That is a cool name, fairly common bottle. And uh, another one of those, uh, I won't even try pronouncing it, but yeah, another one of those foreign perfumes. This is something else. I don't know if it's intact. There's a couple pieces to work around, but it looks like it could be an old beer stein. This might be a mason jar here. Oh wow, it's a flower planter looks like it was painted a couple different colors that's kind of cool uh, so far so good let's see wow that's a beautiful color uh, Mason's patent November 30th 1858 that's a ground lip and a beautiful blue. Wow. All right. No way. <laughs> no way. Wow, it has some German writing on it. This is one of the coolest pieces I've ever dug. It's intact. Look at that. I don't know German, so I have no idea what that says, but even the handle on this thing is intact. All right, I think this one. Stoll, Stoll and Company, Distillers, Lexington, Kentucky. Okay, it was a whiskey bottle. Likely a tooled top court. <laughs> Another uh, drinking glass, some kind of a beer mug. This one, uh, unfortunately, is damaged, but that must have been why they discarded it. We got really lucky with that other one. I'm down almost five feet and there's still pieces coming out. Looks like uh, some kind of a beer or wine bottle. Okay, it's a, wow, a green. This was a green hawk wine. Never dug a green one, they're always amber. Looks like, oh, seashell. Maybe someone uh, made a trip out to the ocean or something, brought it back. Okay, a fancy ketchup bottle. 
no maker's mark on it. Would have had a paper label right there. Another ketchup bottle, light aqua color, no embossing, tooled top. And another one. Another ketchup, but this one, okay, the T.A. Snyder Preserve Company, Cincinnati. It's a tool top piece. They were a major ketchup producer. Broken. Another ketchup bottle. I guess this family liked their ketchup. Really fancy ketchup bottles. Oh, there we go. Let's see. Huh. Looks like a, some kind of whiteware piece. Uh, isn't very ornate. Let's see if there's a maker's mark. It's like the Sabring porcelain. There's a green stamp there. And uh, this is one of the biggest ink bottles. I've dug one of the biggest ink wells anyway. Sanford's. So it's a Sanford ink. Looks like a hawk wine. So far, all of them have been broken, but we'll see how it goes. Yeah, the top's broken off. It's a turn mold piece. That's early 1890s, I'm thinking. Some kind of canning jar. Oh yeah, okay, mason. Would have been a, a machine made top, not a ground lip. It's like a tool top prescription bottle. W, H, H, and M. I have no idea what company that is. Maybe a pharmaceutical product company. Another prescription bottle. There's so much broken stuff in here. This is wild. Almost seems like more of a dump than an outhouse pit. Okay, another prescription bottle. This one seems to have some contents in it. Another uh, H, H, and M. Oh. oh, a little figurine. It's like a girl with a bonnet. That's iconic. Kind of wedged in here. Let's see. Some kind of a pickled goods container, some kind of pickle bottle, tool top. Alright, now this could be good. It's a big drugstore bottle. I don't see any embossing, but let's see. Wow, yeah, that's a 16 ounce. 
Too bad that's not embossed. Gets back to about 1905. All this stuff in here. It's like a little maybe glue bottle of some sort. Alright, another drugstore bottle. There's a uh, no embossing on it. ketchup bottle. Uh, looks like a tool top one. No embossing. I'm really hoping this is intact. That's an early salt glazed piece. There's a couple pieces around it. Let's see. Another ketchup bottle. Tool top, no embossing. Looks like there's something else here as well. That's wild. It's like, uh, must be some kind of preserve container. It's a tooled top. All right. <sighs> it's, it's intact. The handle and everything. <laughs> Look at that. That is something there. That's, that's early. I'm thinking pre-1890s for sure. Could be as early as the 1860s. A shoe fly liquor flask tool top. Top extract bottle, no embossing. I definitely got to see what this one is. Let's see some embossing. Uh, what we have? All right, Excelsior Drugstore, F. A. Brecht, Yankton. That dates back to around 1900. I love the embossed eagle. Yeah, it looks like some kind of lid here. I think it's. Yeah, it's broken. Uh, it's like the lid to a crock. That's a old earthenware piece. I'm guessing this is pre-1900. Some kind of extract bottle. No embossing. It's a big extract bottle. It's a tool top. No embossing on this one either. Some kind of plate. Varus porcelain. It's a looks like a circa 1900 stamp. Maybe an Edwardian pattern. Uh, English made for sure. It's got a gold rim. Jar. Let's see. Top's knocked off. Okay, it's a ball. Dropped a triple loop mason jar. Top's knocked off. Must have been why they discarded it. Looks like a Embossed drugstore bottle. Oh no, that was just some contents. Unembossed drugstore bottle that's circa 1905. 
Oh, okay. It's a lid. Would have been a hen. I don't know if it was a candy dish or something. These were popular about a hundred years ago. It's milk class. We've been busy clearing out the dirt and uncovered a ton of pieces. This is on the east wall of the pit. This one here kind of caught my eye. It has an inter ornate pattern to it. Um, there's a couple behind it. This is wild. So, okay, it's another ketchup bottle. This one's a tooled top. No embossing, but that's some really ornate glass. Looks like some kind of a, oh wow, it's got a sunburst on bottom. Some kind of an ointment pot. Still has some dried ointment in it. This be another ointment pot of some sort. Looks like it's a zinc glaze on the thing, you know? I don't know exactly what it is. Could be like a kid's novelty play piece, cooking pot. Another ketchup bottle, uh, tooled top, no embossing. An intact flower pot. These are almost always broken. This one uh, doesn't have any stamping on it, just a standard earthenware piece. Look at all this stuff. A uh, tooled top prescription drugstore bottle. Circa 1905, no embossing. Some kind of a medicine or an extract. There's uh, no embossing on this one either. Okay, we're getting some flow blue pieces here. Let's see. Wow. That's really something. That's a, a semi porcelain, I believe. Some kind of a bowl. Huh. Some more flow blue. Let's see here. Looks like a little prescription drugstore bottle. Or maybe a. Oh, okay. Vapocresoline, yeah, this is a, uh, I recognize this. That Vapocresoline uh, has like an 1894 patent on it or something. Uh, I believe this was for uh, some kind of burner you could dump this into. It was said to be a uh, cure of some sorts to breathe it in. It was actually just coal tar, though, and made the symptoms, illness worse. Moon. I believe that's the mark of Gillette's, Gillette's flavoring extracts. Yeah. Oh wow. That's something. That's some flow blue. This is a spinach pattern, actually. The blue is always wild. It's uh, got some spinach leaf design on it. Another uh, prescription drugstore bottle. No embossing. Uh, ABGM Company. That's the Adolphus Bush Glass Manufacturing Company. These are almost always cork tops, but this one's a tool crown. I don't think there's any other embossing on it. Oh wow. That's an oldie, that's an old doll head. That was a big doll. And it looks like, oh there's Dorothy. Dorothy the doll. Another Gillette's. 
Look at that, yeah, the owl on the crescent moon. Must have been some kind of sample. Wow, this stuff's just falling out here. No way. Georgetown and City Drugstore, Yankton, South Dakota. This is a patent medicine. I can't say I've ever seen one of these before. This is remarkable. This, this is really something, you guys. Wow, looks to be in great shape. It's like a tool top. Whitmore shoe polish bottle from Boston. I dig these all the time. Wall balm and Asif. Now, this was, I believe, the latest embossed drugstore bottle from Yankton, and they were only in business together about a year, I believe, until the partnership dissolved. Try to piece this thing back together. It's got a really cool pattern. I don't, I don't see that very often. I don't know if I've ever seen this particular pattern actually. It's a brand new day. I spent the morning clearing down and found a few pieces. Uh, I think I have nine bottles exposed right now. Looks like a glue bottle of some sort, no embossing. Oh, here we go. Excelsior Drugstore, F.A. Brecht, Yankton. I love these, that eagle and mortar and pestle is awesome. Huh, let's see. Okay, AMF Company, yeah they made a lot of these uh, prescription drugstore bottles with that footed base. Uh, looks like maybe a ketchup bottle. Yeah. Uh, tooled top, no embossing. And I think there's yeah, some kind of little sample bottle. I think it's a sample perfume. It's a Palmer's. I dig a lot of these. Another prescription bottle. No embossing. And another. Huh. Some kind of little apothecary bottle, a tool top, no embossing. Let's saw this one sticking out of the wall here. Let's see. It's like a tooled top prescription bottle made by the Western Bottle Manufacturing Company. It's, it's likely a beer. Maybe a wine or a whiskey. Okay, that's a tooled top beer. That's a turn mold piece. That's uh that's got some good age. Tooled top prescription bottle, no maker's marks. Banner style. Another fancy ketchup. It's got a tooled top, like the rest of them, uh, no maker's marks. Another unembossed 
prescription bottle. Okay. Uh, shoe fly liquor bottle. Uh, nothing on it. Shoulder blown out. Another prescription bottle. No embossing. Looks like a paste or shoe polish. Uh, got some kind of a dropper in it. That's kind of cool. Tool top. Wow, there's all kinds of bottles in here. What's going on with this thing? Some kind of art glass. Uh, bone china, semi, yeah. Look at that, that's really cool. You can see the edge broke, so they discarded it. Uh, Blake style prescription bottle. Uh, no embossing. What's this? That's an unusual style for a prescription drugstore bottle. So uh, no embossing. Looks like a little perfume bottle. No embossing. We're nearing bottom. Right now we're in the northwest corner. We've got a few pieces. Nice. Another Excelsior drugstore bottle. Circa 1900. Oh, I was hoping this was going to be intact. That's a really cool flower planter, like terracotta or something. An old lamp chimney. There was a lot of broken stuff in this corner, but I saw a few intact pieces. This is a it's a banner style, yep. Banner style prescription bottle, tool top. And another uh, tool top piece. Palmer, yeah, perfume. Oh, that would have been a cool piece. Yeah, some kind of wash pitcher. Had some floral pattern on it. Like, oh wow. George Tam and the Druggist, Yankton, South Dakota. That's a nice one. Hmm. Some kind of a cut glass drinking glass. Oh, this is gonna be cool. It's uh, still got the glass stopper in it. Now sometimes, there's no maker's marks. Sometimes these are sealed and the perfume will still have a smell. Let's see if I can uh, get the stopper at some point. They're usually lodged though. Now, let's see. There we go, finally got an intact hawk wine. Now this thing is something. Look at that color. That's beautiful, it's a honey amber. That's a that's an applied top, this is an old bottle. This is uh, pre-1890. Looks like we may have a citrate bottle. This is 
hard pack, still in the cap layer up here. Uh, little perfume, uh, nothing embossed on it. Oh, looks like a citrate of magnesia. Oh <laughs> yeah, nailed it, look at that. I love the embossing on these things. Some kind of a yeah, extract bottle with a tooled top. Prescription bottle, footed base, no embossing. A mini lamp chimney, almost like a novelty piece. And a full size. Some kind of a glue bottle, no embossing. Wow, that's a plate. You don't see the orange stamping very often. It looks like this one was really well used. Uh, wow, you know it's a semi-porcelain. I'll see if there's a maker's mark. I'd like to find out what pattern this is. Oh, yeah, nothing on the rim. That's really cool, though. Oh, yeah, you can see that color change. That's a use layer, so uh, we're definitely in an old outhouse pit. An old liquor flask got a kind of stubby top on it. That's unusual. <sighs> Broken hawk wine. Not many of these things survived in this pit. You may have an intact one. These are very rarely found intact, being they were used until they broke. Okay, the bottom chipped there. That's why it was thrown down. Otherwise, it's in fairly good shape. Now over here, we've got something unusual. A red plate. Now, I see some fragments here, so I'm not getting my hopes up that it's intact. But I am curious to see what's going on with it. Wow. That's... That's awesome. Look at that pattern. There's some flowers and leaves on it. Definitely an ornamental piece. Now, uh, yeah, you know, we might actually have all the pieces here. I wonder if there's a maker's mark. Something like this would have a stamp. I'm not seeing anything though. Hmm. Okay, a little pill bottle. I think it's a turn mold piece. Alright, now what's going on with this thing? No embossing. Yeah, nothing. Prescription bottle. I found the bottom. There's some gravel and hard packed clay. I was uh, working this. Like a pill vial, or I think this was for uh, either pills or it could have been a sputum sample for uh, tuberculosis testing. Looks like we have a medicine or an extract. It's a nice aqua color. Yeah, no embossing. There's a couple pieces down here. This one's unusual, it's sticking up. 
Nice. Another Excelsior with the Eagle F.A. Brecht Yankton. Most of these are broken. Another hawk one. Nearing bottom on the east side. Still a few pieces left. This, this is, oh, okay. I thought it was intact. Has a blown out side. I'm guessing this was intact when they threw it down. Maybe it was dropped down by mistake or something. decanter so this would have held liquor of some sort in it would have had a glass stopper this would have been put on a, a bar sometimes they call it like a back bar type bottle all right we've got some embossing dr king's new discovery chicago chicago illinois Is here. Okay. Some kind of triangular uh, preserve bottle. And this one. That's unusual. It's some kind of a pitcher. Looks like it has a pour spout on it. Could have had a handle there where the hole is. Maybe the handle broke and they discarded it. Looks like some kind of an extract bottle. No embossing. Yeah, there we go. Boss drugstore bottle. Another from the Excelsior drugstore. glass pill vial of some sort, turn mold piece. Looks like a prescription type bottle. Pressed into the back fill. I don't feel any embossing on it. Yeah, it's uh, unembossed, circa 1900. This plate may actually be intact. I've been chipping away at it. About ready to pull it out. Let's see. Okay, it's chipped. That pattern is insane, though. Look at that. Wow. Some kind of a uh, floor. I don't even know what to call this. I think it's some kind of transferware piece, though. It's a uh, T. Ellsmore and Son, England. So some kind of English transfer wear. Underneath it. Now this is the southwest corner. This is where a lot of stuff settles. Uh, just in the corners of these pits. There's a sewing machine oil. And uh, looks like some kind of prescription drugstore bottle, no embossing. This one was patented, applied for by the Western Bottle Manufacturing Company. That design was patented. And another prescription bottle. I'm nearly eight feet in the ground. 
I'm on the bottom of the pit here. There's a couple more pieces. It's like a medicine bottle and a beer of some sort. Uh, this is an old one, put it at about 1905. It's a tooled top prescription drugstore bottle. hawk wines. I think this pit's done. The pit's all finished up. The layer is dated back to around 1900. We got a good haul. Some wine bottles, liquor bottles, some food products, some ketchups. Those are fairly ornate. Some medicines including that one from Yankton. Some earthenware pieces. My favorite no doubt being that German beer mug. Got some perfumes inks, lantern tops, some broken dinnerware, apothecary bottles, extracts, a bunch of prescription drugstore bottles, a good few from Yankton, and that one from Rochester, Minnesota. All in all, it was a good dig. We'll get this filled back in.